Okay, everybody, the ninja is going to give some marriage advice. <laughs> We're not going to tell Mrs. Ninja, though, okay? I'm just joking. She could see this. So what I want to do today is give you an idea of how me and my wife started over 20 years ago budgeting in order to literally reduce a ton of fights, and it actually worked amazing. Uh, I've had a success showing some of my family and friends this exact same technique, and it really, really did work. You don't have to do it. This isn't financial advice, but it worked for us. So I'd like to share it with you guys, okay? So uh, this works if you have one income or two, and it also works, it really helps if one of you, let's say, is a hustler, because I've been told the ninja likes to hustle. He always has to have something on the side, making money. And this works really well, and it stops a lot of fights. So here we go. Hopefully you guys can see the video, okay, or the screen. So you have income from both sides, right? It's really important, we found, to have one joint account because we're more accountable to each other, right? So it, they both go into one account, and what we did is we actually wrote down a set of rules, and we had a budget set up. We had um, our monthly bills all written out, how much is the minimum payment, and how much we paid that month and the day the uh, bill was uh, paid, right? Um, and then we had little offshoots that you'll see in a second. Anytime it was written down that we had to make a special purchase of $100 or more that was not a necessity, and we literally defined a necessity as in food, uh, and, and we're not talking about going out to eat, we're talking about food at the grocery store, utilities, uh, vehicle payments, or a house payment, right? That is a necessity, okay? So anytime um, either of us had to spend $100 or more outside of that, we made sure to run it by the other person, and, and, and that helped a lot of things okay there was no surprises that's the one thing you don't want to you don't like surprises in marriage we don't like surprises anywhere so we want to eliminate surprises um you're never going to eliminate them i get it i'm going to see that in the comments but we're going to try to get as many surprises abolished as possible now that joint you're paying your bills right but then we also have a certain percentage that we put towards savings and i don't care even if it's ten dollars don't tell me you don't have enough money it, it, everybody has enough you all have choices, okay? So let's say it's 10 bucks or 10%, whatever it is, that money goes into savings and you actually define what savings is for. It's for a car blow up fund if, if all of a sudden the engine fails or you need repairs, right? And then you also define when it gets to a certain amount and you haven't used it, then the spillover goes into like, let's say a vacation fund. Those are really important to have those separate so you don't overspend. So then, this is the fun part, now, you denote a certain amount that goes into two other checking accounts. Those are accounts that um, are your own. You open them up and mine had my name, Mr. Ninja, and hers had her name, Mrs. Ninja. And honestly, the real numbers, guys, um, when we were first married um, back in uh, 99, our number was $100 a month we each got to put in to our own checking account. And then that, you know, if, if Mrs. Ninja wants to buy anything she wants, she, she doesn't have to come and ask me because that's not going to cause a surprise, right? But then Mr. Ninja would go take his money, and was, this, this is the truth, and he'd go flip that money into a couple garage sales, and each month he'd come up with now he's got 400 and he's got, you know, that's a really weird 600 things like that, right? And he would build it up, build it up, and every once in a while Mr. Ninja would go, so just, just curious, you seem to be uh, going out to eat a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, yeah, going out with my buddies, going out to eat. The ninja does like his barley barley water, right? Um, it didn't come out of this, but she knew. And i just curious how much you got. Well, I got a few thousand bucks in there. What? You know? I go, I've been garage selling, been putting stuff on eBay, you know, flipping tractors and stuff. And um, every once in a while, I would be able to take like a big chunk and go, you know, hey, she wants to go on a vacation. Hey, pull it out of mine. No worries. And there was no problem at all. I don't care that she, she's taking her money and enjoying it. And you know what it does? It brings a lot of peace to our relationship. So I, it, I didn't have to be constantly asked by her. She knew that whenever I was out doing my thing, buying and selling things and um, whatever ventures, it didn't impact our budget. And that brought a lot of peace and uh, tranquility to the, to the relationship. A lot of arguments were headed off at the pass because of this system. And, you know, every once in a while I'd be able to put a chunk down into, a, a, you know, for a vacation or something like that. Or then really what I want to do, because she didn't like, you know, Mrs. Ninja wasn't really big on investing. It was just like the normal go get a job, 401k, you know, I get it. So there's a lot of people like that. I'm not like that. Uh, I am one of those that you'd probably say, you're never happy. 
Copy, you are right. I want to keep moving forward, keep moving up. Sorry, I, if you don't like it, this is definitely not the channel for you. Um, so what we do is, it, this worked out really well. It, 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 I could build my wealth, I could, we could turn around and I would invest and say, hey, guess what, we built this up to $10,000. As a matter of fact, the first big purchase we made, I was buying and selling electric trains, even though I never played with them, but I liked, I, growing up, I liked those really expensive LGBs from Germany. And um, I, I'll tell you guys a story about that later, but um, I built up, I started $200, turned it into $20,000 in a year, buying and selling them on eBay. And I took our first 10000 I took $10,000 out of that fund, and I uh, put it down on our first house in, uh, what was it, 2000, I think it was 2000. I'm sure Mrs. Ninja will correct me in the comments if she sees this, because sometimes the Ninja forgets dates. So anyway, see, we're no different than you guys. But anyway, this really, really helps. I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you guys have any other ideas that have really helped you, put them in the comments below. Um, and, and really use this uh, time and this video in the comments section to help others because there's a lot of really good ideas. And um, no matter if it's a, a husband and wife scenario or a business relationship, you know, when you're, you're dealing with business partners and you're trying to, to make sure that everyone's spending properly or no one's going off the rails, you could put these ideas into any different scenario when it comes to finance. All right, guys? Hope you liked it. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the great questions you guys are providing. We'll talk to you later.